Welcome everyone in Match of Empires, another episode for beginners. Today we're gonna talk about the gear for your champion. I think this is quite confusing uh, for everyone. At least it was for me. When I started the game, that wasn't too bad because on the beginning of the game, you don't have a, such a big choice. And let's not forget that we are still limited by level of your champion. So make sure you're gonna focus on that trying to get much experience as you can especially on the, on the beginning of the game because this is um, not only talents but actually the level of that gear what you can use it okay another thing what uh, is worth to save the gold for is uh, unlocking the slots below your champion for example like i got right now is gathering then i set up something for the attack of rebels which i call encounters and research and continue like this i didn't unlock the last one because it costs quite a lot the more you unlock the more slots you unlock then uh, cost really uh, a lot of gold so i, I don't think it's worth to uh, to do it i to be honest i didn't even unlock the first few slots uh, for quite a long time i was more focused on uh, experience for the champion and vip uh, okay so you can get equipment this uh, gear from plenty of places because of the game update we now we got equipment library where you can check with what kind of equipment and where to get it for example i never been a, i never took the part in the tournament so i will never get any of this crap it be shame and again atlantis atlantis is quite uh, difficult so you need to make sure you are ready for it uh, you got gold and everything else you need to be really ready but there is many other ways to get it i think the encounters is the best way and then dark citadel if you manage with your team to get on a very good uh, level of a chest so this will gonna provide you with something really cool Uh, so that's what we got right now running wildlands it's uh, those encounters this is what they what they're gonna give us right now and what i want to tell you straight away i've seen that some people are uh, wasting some of the gear to upgrade it to stars on it i think this is a very big mistake uh, i know some players use it uh, the to upgrade on a purple one of those you start wasting other uh, this from the same level you have to use it to upgrade let me show you if i gonna want to upgrade this uh, helmet then i can use only this stuff and this is really massive waste you're collecting those to for the future which you can produce better legendary equipment legendary is the best thing what you can get in this game i got few uh, i'm still not the best in it but uh, I'm doing whatever I can. This is a time consuming game. And let's not forget, I'm not playing that long. I always trying to mention about this. Don't compare my base to the player who's spending, uh, who's playing for like over a year or two years on, on it. Okay. Because that would be very unfair. If I would be playing for two years right by now, this would be absolutely different. To be honest, I have to make my changes myself a lot here. I actually um, doing this once in a while and uh, sometimes it's, if you play all the time I mean like every day you are on uh, then you can actually keep an eye on it and always change to something with whatever you actually manage to get uh, so you can be always on time with the new equipment but I doing this like uh, once every few months to be honest two months or something so checking it out and only changing to the categories that's why I unlock those slots this is really game changer because if you're gathering and then you have to uh, you know quickly attack encounters for example i can go for one right now see there is level two even if i can attack higher level this is still good to do uh, because this is still points for the for the capital uh, there is still gonna respond some uh some extra titles with the resources on the map so make sure you're gonna hit them don't just think then it's not level what you're looking for and then you're gonna waste that 10 minutes waiting for them anyway it's better to just hit 
it then and sometimes when they are marked then you can go get some social points as well guys don't forget and if you got any questions about the videos and the things what i'm doing here and uh, make sure you're gonna leave it in the comments below i always answering the messages uh, there is absolutely no problem for that okay there is uh, lots of going on here uh, they're in, in very good way to especially on the beginning to get uh, some equipment you can use the adventures the only thing what you can have to do is go to tavern and if you're gonna uh, customize your party members then you just have to hire a few guys like i'm gonna show you like right here i've got which is gonna give you a very higher chance to find the equipment so every time you're gonna finish uh, some adventure you might gonna have some gear but guys remember that also don't rush too too fast with the uh, legendary let's just go to crafting for example with the legendary because remember the sum of legendary required you six, 60 level of your champion and some of them are lower excuse me but but there are also new ones with very high level yeah 75 already here so you make sure what's your goal what, what's your target i think the best is when you're attacking encounters because that's you have more chances to get the same kind of um, equipment and then like i said you don't waste them to make those upgrades so extra star and then you're gonna have a, a two three five percent more on some of the books on it this is the waste you be patient you wait and you keep upgrading for a higher level the only thing what is going to cost you is patient and a little bit of coins uh, so I, I got actually too many of the shoes and stuff but from this I already got that Oh, this one we can make the upgrade so yes definitely don't worry again if you're not on this level everyone every player have to start from the from the scratch and you know going one by one higher and higher and that when I'm doing this one right now, but also I was doing this uh, from the common to uncommon and higher. Depends. Sometimes you need few legendary uh, just to craft another legendary. And uh, not sure if it's here. This is all purple, but there there are some situations when you need. I um, mean, some mix mix of. Oh, you can kind of see this one, right? Uh, so you, go, you need lots of le other legendary gear just to craft this this one and the cost is unbelievable 250 million coins I don't know even if it's worth that much but okay the choice is massive you can see that's why it's really worth sometimes to focus on one like doing one by one gear and what you're looking for if you're looking first for the building then you focus on a building don't try to do attack mm, research uh, and everything else all in in the same time uh, be really patient with this uh, and try to get uh, those chests from the encounters because this is later you're gonna probably have a mix of them of this gear on your champion anyway uh, because this is all depends how it's gonna be making your life easier like i got on gathering i got right this but I didn't add this double blade for the better gathering is actually army load 7% on, on it so this is what I wanted right now soon I'm gonna have a another level that's gonna take a little bit longer but uh, that's what you have to do this is on the beginning I wouldn't even hesitate to spend a little bit gold uh, to buy you know the higher uh, experience uh, pack you know as possible uh, but this is just uh, just on the beginning just couple levels up because those talents gonna actually provide you the be better boost than the gear uh, but then remember the main thing is VIP I gonna VIP I gonna make a separate video and uh, next part gonna be about gold uh, so make sure you're gonna check this out so guys I think that's it I, there's no, nothing else to say because the every player got a little bit different tactic and what I wanted to say to not waste the gear to the stupid upgrades of the you know the small ones with the stars always wait for the crafting to the higher level this is the best and the best way to get something 
uh, remember to try to uh, fight for the Dark Citadel and then it's a very nice uh, gear what you can get from there that encounters uh, adventures uh, and events uh, events are providing you also very nice uh, you know boxes sometimes the chest uh, the bloody war chest is totally crap so don't don't worry about it don't think that like first time I was wanted to win and I won uh, you know the top place uh, but it was not worth it <laughs> if this comes to the bloody war chest uh, or zodiac chest they are, they are totally crap but there are a few others like the uh, green ones purple ones i already opened them all uh, today uh, so i can't show you but there is there's really plenty and you know in in just a couple months you're gonna have so much gear then you just like thinking you might get to the point the same as me i wish to destroy some like you can do it actually you can sell in exchange for the coins there's another option here uh, like you can sell it but i don't think it's really worth uh, to do it better to just stack it up you never know what's gonna happen maybe in the future gonna be some other mix-up uh, maybe they're gonna uh, do some other upgrade of the game and make something more far more special you, i can do actually one legendary i think right now on this one this is from the previous encounters so you can see i i hit enough uh, camps i collect enough i didn't use it i didn't waste it in any way so i can actually make those two uh, gear ready level 60 is all good and now we go collecting for the new one and then you have to compare which one is better for you uh, don't forget and this also counts what kind of castle you got because if you got this one with the knights normal then is the always better for the swordsman but if you got something else then is a different units boost for the different castle okay guys that's it uh, for this video make sure you're going to check the other part uh, because it's going to be about the gold i think gold is really fantastic uh, to get it and i trying to tell you all the tips or all the possible possible way to get the gold in the next episode uh, so make sure you're going to check this out it's already done i just need to upload it but this one have to go first uh, there is a plenty of other videos if you're interested to watch some uh, gameplay from uh, ghost recon some shooters and stuff if you're interested in any other game what i don't have on my channel leave me in the comments below uh, i will definitely uh, check this out thanks for watching guys and i see you next part